So this video is 50 plus things you need to know about Biomutant. Here I roll off quickfire answers to many questions I know people may have on this game, as well as new information you probably don't know about. We cover most of what this game is all about, from its game settings to character customization, to console and platform settings, to the open world and end game. So let's go. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Biomutant be sure to subscribe. So let's get into it people. So these are what we need to know about Biomutant. So first up, release times on platforms. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will release on the 25th of May at 4pm CEST. Steam release, Epic Games Store and GOG will release 3 hours later, 7pm CEST. Sometime in the near future, a native version for the PS5 and the Xbox Series S slash X will arrive. PC version will support GeForce Now. Biomutant will not be on Game Pass for now. Price tag for the game will be $60. The Collector's Edition and the Atomic Edition are sold out. So enough on info in terms of price and platform, let's get into the game's actual details which matter to us most. So this is a strictly single player game, no co-op or multiplayer in the base game at all. Now in terms of the game I believe here we should start with the actual world of Biomutant, its size, what's available here and more. Then we'll get into the character we will play. So the world size here is decent, it's 8 by 8 kilometers, so it's 64 kilometers squared. There are many different areas to the map as well as certain levels in terms of the surf which is basically the sea. Now some areas you cannot explore without resistance which we will get into in a second. There are explorable dungeons and hidden cave systems home to that awesome loot. The world and the many areas within it are filled with NPCs you can meet and do hundreds if not thousands of side quests for. There's a huge quest pool from which events, quests etc are drawn upon when you enter the certain region within the game. There are multiple tribes you can join, even leave, work for, fight against, ally, start war etc etc. Because of this there is said to be more than one ending to this game. Now the campaign's length without side quest was said to be around 10 hours. That seems to have changed via recent sources. So the new details on this are, if you do not end a specific event early, we are roughly looking at 25 hours for the main quest. 100% is more like 50 plus hours, so that's not bad at all. In terms of post campaign, end game or new game plus, yes this has been confirmed. A new game plus will be in the game, you will start at the foot of the tree of life, skipping the tutorial including the childhood village, from there you can join any tribe and re-experience the story. You will keep your equipment and character stats. Now post campaign end game after completing the main quest, there are also a bazillion side quests, areas and characters to discover. So that's pretty cool people. Okay so getting into the character we will play, so firstly there are 6 breeds, all offer slightly different attributes. The breeds are Primal, Dumden, Rex, Hyla, Fip and Mergel. The attributes which you can level up are Vitality, which levels health and armor, Strength, which levels melee damage, Intellect, which levels power, Kai energy and energy regen, Agility, which levels movement speed, Charisma, which levels barter, and Luck, which levels critical chance and loot chance. Also when it comes to determining which of these attributes you want to spend more into when creating your character affects the way in which your character looks. For example, the more intellect gives you a bigger head and brain, charisma gives you a cheeky smile, agility makes you taller and thinner, strength makes you tall and jacked and vitality makes you a little chunky. Now as we mentioned earlier with the certain areas of the world which you will need to level up your resistance to explore even more, these resistances are a part of your build. Those are heat, radioactivity, cold and biohazard. Also when you build into these you will notice your genetics change. Witness through your right arms kind of veins change in colour. There are also two choices of colours you can make your character, primary and secondary along with a fur type which allows you to change or even add certain patches and spots to your character. There are then 6 classes to choose from, one being a pre-order bonus. So the 5 in the base game are Deadeye, who benefits ranged gunplay, 
Commando, which offers 10% more damage on ranged targets. PSI Freak, who get a slight buff to intellect properties as well as a starter ability in which you can shoot a spark ball. Sabotoir, which allows you to wield two one-handed weapons and your dodge energy is reduced. Sentinel, which offers a base armor increase by 10. And then the pre-order class, which is Mercenary. This class allows, like Sabotoir, to wield two one-handed weapons and you also get 10% more melee damage with the Mercenary class. The Mercenary class will be available to purchase later on for those who don't pre-order. Now the combat system in this game is called Wong Fu. Wong Fu is a term for all physical combat related arts, melee and ranged, and a mix of various real world martial arts, which was specifically created for the world of Bio Mutant. The leveling system in this game is quite straightforward. You earn XP, level up, earn upgrade points, spend them on upgrades, and you get bigger, better, and stronger. There is also a light and dark system in which you unlock aura points. These points are unlocked depending on your choices throughout the game. Aura points are spent on PSI powers. You can earn aura points by choosing good actions that help people in need. As more light points you obtain, your aura will increase from light aura to maximum light aura. On the other hand, choosing bad actions, you will earn dark aura points, then your inner balance will turn to dark aura. There is also a depthy crafting system within this game. Now, Crafting in Biomutant is a key element of equipment management. Through crafting, players can create weapons from millions of combinations by fusing together different materials found throughout the world into various components that can be mixed and matched to form something unique. Crafting is done via your inventory menu. Armor, guns and melee weapons can be crafted. To craft items you need to find those specific items and add on through the many random instances of loot within the world. You also need materials to craft said items together. These materials are metal, wood, plastic, rubber and e-waste, which can be found all over the map. Gear can also be upgraded via workbenches found across the world. There are also different rarities of items in the game and many different levels to each rarity. So more details on the game you might be interested in. There will be no modding tools within the near future for PC players. Field of view is implemented for PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, as well as current gen PS5 and Xbox Series X and Series S as well as PC. A field of view slider is not available on base console versions. Widescreen is supported. Depth of field can be toggled in the settings under camera, but motion below it seems cannot be turned off. There are multiple options within the game on how you can scale the narrator up and down or even off. Breeds, by the way, will not affect the story. Yes, if you don't know, loot is absolutely random. There are three difficulties within the game, easy, medium and hard. There is no transmog system in the game. Yes, there is a photo mode. This game will be on EA Play Pro on PC, not EA Play. There is controller support for PC too and there will be no preloading on Steam. And yes guys, there we have it for the quick fire answers to our know many questions people might be having. I mean this game's out literally in 5 days and it's going to be absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to be posting that daily content on it as well as streams so I hope to see you there. Now people, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one